here with uh, Jason Ziller, uh, director of Intel Thunderbolt Marketing, and uh, yeah, how's how's everything going? It's going great here at NAB. It's a great show, and there's lots of Thunderbolt three everywhere around here, especially in our community here, with in front of the CalDigit uh, booth here. So uh, yeah, it's going really well. Awesome, great. And uh, we've had a long relationship with Intel as a Thunderbolt developer. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long relationship with CalDigit. CalDigit was one of the early adopters of the original Thunderbolt many years ago, and then and then again on Thunderbolt two, and then here we go again on Thunderbolt three. It has uh, already a number of products coming out, so we really uh, appreciate and uh, value the uh, the interaction we're having with CalDigit. Great, awesome. Um, could you give us a quick rundown on Thunderbolt three technology and the improvements from previous generations of Thunderbolt? Sure, yeah. Thunderbolt 3 uh, is you know, the third generation. It's uh, the fastest and most versatile connection to your computer and all your media devices anywhere here in NEB. Um, it's uh, 40 gigabits per second, so it's uh, twice as fast as Thunderbolt 2. Um, and it's actually also eight times faster than USB 3.0. Okay. So it is the fastest connection in that, in that way. You can do fastest storage. Um, and any kind of data connections. And then it's uh, also most versatile. You can do data, video, and power on a single cable. Um, so it does DisplayPort and PCI Express. And so you can hook up, uh, it's very good for docking stations and uh, other things that you're, you know, really basically the 4K or 5K workflow here at NAB where you're hooking up high resolution displays um, and, you know, data devices and storage and media I.O. at the same time. The other thing, by the way, that's a critical piece is um, it, we moved Thunderbolt 3 to the uh, USB Type-C connector. That's this connector right here. So Thunderbolt 3 runs on the USB-C connector, which is a small, uh, very nice uh, new connector, but also supports very high speed. Um, so we're real excited about that, and we're seeing a lot of adoption in the uh, PC space um, on Thunderbolt 3. Uh, a lot to do with the fact that they're already adopting the Type-C connector, and now you have all this full capability to do whatever you want and connect to everything. So. Is Thunderbolt something that you're trying to, I guess, get on as many things as possible, or is it still going to be reserved to more premium products, like in the future, let's say with like future generations of Thunderbolt? Uh, yeah, good question. Um, obviously, the, the crowd here uh, needs the premium, you know, and the high res uh, and high speed um, capabilities. But we're really looking to drive Thunderbolt 3 uh, more mainstream as okay. well. And um, so, again, we're seeing a lot of the PC adoption. Uh, water falling down to more mainstream systems, um, and we're working with a lot of vendors, including CalDigit, to do to do a lot of uh, you know mainstream priced uh, system, uh, devices. So yeah, we're expecting a lot of uh, a lot of different you know mainstream users, gamers, uh, just amateur video creators, photographers, to be able to take advantage of Thunderbolt. If you're doing anything with large amounts of content, you want to have Thunderbolt. Okay, awesome, and. Um so with you know Thunderbolt 3 and modern computers, they keep getting smaller, more powerful, and you know just with that MacBook Pro over there that just has Thunderbolt ports, how important do you think you know docking peripherals such as our Thunderbolt Station 3 and the TS3 Lite are for I guess future workflows? Yeah, docking stations are a very key uh, category of, of device for uh, Thunderbolt 3 systems, um, both the, the MacBook Pros that only have Thunderbolt ports, so if you need other legacy ports, you want to you know, connect a dock or adapters to be able to connect to those other ports. Um, but also, just in general, including with the Macs, uh, you're seeing thinner and lighter systems, so you're seeing fewer and fewer connectors. And even on uh, desktop PCs, you're seeing like mini PCs um, that have fewer and fewer connectors. So you want uh, the few connectors you have, you want it to be Thunderbolt so that, so that they have the capability to be able to expand and connect to everything. And docking uh, stations are very key to enabling that, that model. So yeah. Okay. And um, with Thunderbolt 3, you switched from the uh, DisplayPort connector to Type-C. Mm -hmm. um, what does this uni uh, universal connectivity mean for the user? Um, it's very valuable for the user. Uh, you know, U USB has been the universal, so to speak, right, you know, connector for the last 20 years. And then uh, with USB moving to the USB-C connector, 
um, that's a you know an important step in general for for universal connectivity. And then having Thunderbolt three run on that Type C connector, now you have full USB connectivity, but also full display. You can connect to any display. You can connect to any Thunderbolt device. All the new innovative Thunderbolt devices that are coming out. So it really gives a a one stop shop port for users. They can connect anything and uh, it becomes really valuable uh, for end users for that purpose, yeah. And I guess one of the biggest features of Thunderbolt, would, I, I would consider, is uh, the ability to transfer, um, to charge devices. Yes. Up to 100 watts. Uh, what does this really mean for, uh, I guess, any user and, uh, you know, I guess even professional workflows? Yeah, it's a great uh, capability and we're getting a lot of great feedback about it. Um, the CalDigit uh, dock here does 85 watt charging. Uh, and um, so it's very important to be able to, especially even for you know, the media creators here, uh, they're out on location or in the field, they got their notebook, um, to be able to just you know, not have to connect the notebook to a separate power supply and just be able to do that single cable plug-in to the dock or some other device and, and then be able to charge it um, is really valuable and really convenient as well, just in general. If you're on, your, you're on the road with your notebook, you come back to your desk, you plug in a single cable to your dock, and you have, you know, you light up everything on your desktop, plus you're charging your notebook, all with a single cable plug. So it's yeah, very nice. It's great stuff. And yeah. uh, I guess the last question, um, is there anything you could tell us on the future of Thunderbolt and where the technology is heading? Um, well, so uh, I think the main thing that we want to get across now is that it is getting broad adoption in Mac and PC and across the industry. Uh, with media creators, but also with gamers and and uh, and even in you know commercial enterprise uh, client users, um, so across the board, and that's really where we're focused over the next couple of years is to uh, is to really broaden the adoption. And we have some things uh, that you'll be seeing over the next couple of years that will help to to do that. Is there anything you any? I guess you can tell us any secrets <laughs> about you know, Thunderbolt Four, for instance, or what crazy uh, new stuff Thunderbolt will be able to do at that point. Yeah, well, not at the moment, but I can just tell you that the, the technologists, you know, deep at Intel are already starting to, to work on those things. So we'll make sure that they, they come at some point in the future. Okay, well, I try to get the <laughs> secrets out of you, but uh, great. Yeah. thank you so much for the time. All right, sure thing. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks.